as well as switch access, there may be some students who require uh, an adaptive kind of uh, access to the computer and, and to navigating around the, the Corbridge College website. Uh, I'm going to use a combination of, of uh, hardware uh, input devices. Uh, you can see here I've got a tracker ball. So again, someone who can't use a standard mouse can navigate around using a tracker ball. Uh, you can get it to hover and do auto clicks as well. It also has a, a sort of built-in key guard with colour-coded keys so it's easy to identify what the left clicks are, right clicks are, etc. This keyboard here is what's known as an IntelliKeys keyboard, a very flexible key keyboard. And one of the reasons for it um, used to be known as a concept keyboard. Uh, and the really reason behind that is that I can use multiple keyboards. So this is specifically an internet overlay I have. And just by using, I can then go to the back button. It goes back to forward. And essentially, the way that it works is that it has a little sort of um, tab there that the, that the keyboard recognizes. So I'm going to pop that in. And what we can also do is that if I can't use a mouse, but I can maybe just use a keyboard, I can use these navigational keys to navigate about just by going to, let's see, courses and application. And I've got here for a mouse click. I press that in, and it takes me there. Because it's nicely laid out with buttons, I can find the history of where I've been. Let's take that back off again. I can maybe do a search. I can quickly go back to the home page. There we are. Oh, we missed that one. Let's go back again to the corporate site. There we are again. So it, it pro provides a, a very easy uh, way for people to, to get around in. Uh, you can also use it with a switch as well. So it may be some person can have some access with one hand and navigating around and, and using the switch uh, with, with the other hand. But where this program comes into its, its element, I think, this keyboard, is that you can use what's called make up your own specific overlays. So if you have a user who needs to access a site who's maybe a Braille user, for example, here you can see, I don't know if it's easy to see that, I've got a Braille overlay. So by popping that into the keyboard, uh, I've got a basic Braille uh, layout where people can, again, navigate around the, the, the keyboard. It could also be something like this. This was specifically made for a student, actually, uh, who has cerebral palsy, and she needed everything to be moved over to the left-hand side, especially the navigation keys. Just a bit of paper, but with Overlay Maker, a program that comes, you can get it to go with IntelliKeys, you can make up specific overlays. So essentially what you're doing is you're increasing your access to a really wide range of learners and students who can use a combination of devices to get on to the site. Just to finish now, I'm going to go back just to give, give you an idea. You can see these overlays come, they're double overlays, uh, so they're just a, a QWERTY keyboard. It could be much simpler, it could be an AC, ABC layout. And again, popping that into the keyboard, it recognises it. Now I want to go down to customise your own course. And then I'm just going to press the click to there. I might want to then just combine that with the tracker ball and hit down there. And we're back. So by using a combination of devices, I can get access to the site easily and very accessibly.